And uh, now we're going to check in with Rob Marciano. Rob? Tell us where you are, Rob. Giovanna, Jory, good to be with you. We are in Palm Desert, and the winds have picked up in the last hour. The center of this storm is basically coming right through Palm Springs and Palm Desert right now. And this is obviously a lot of people, you guys know where, where I am here, right in the middle of Palm Desert. This is the main street. It's pretty much a ghost town here, with the exception of these big palm trees that are unloading their old palm fronds. You know, that are just kind of raining down like bark. You really feel this this wind here. Unbelievable. We've hit, there are a lot of flooded roads. Authorities keep uh, closing down roads because, as you know, these desert towns cannot handle this sort of water. And now they're getting this sort of wind, a tropical storm coming through the middle of a California desert. That is something I've never done as a meteorologist, and uh, we're experiencing it today, guys. Yeah, you can see you are getting much stronger winds there than we are seeing here in the L.A. area. We are expecting to see things pick up. Uh, they said this is going to be a typical Santa Ana event, Rob, but but wet. So we're used to seeing wind events like this. We're just not used to seeing them accompanied with rain and tropical damage. It looks like uh, stuff is uh, debris is on the ground around you. What what sorts of damage, if any, can you see beyond your vantage point there from what we can see? Uh, there's just some trees, some trees that down at different roads that have blocked some roadways and obviously a lot of water in roadways. We saw at least one car completely swamped. And you're up there in waist deep of water and these washes that you know all around uh, Southern California and especially here in the desert, they're being filled up with this rainwater. We got an inch of rain in an hour here and then, we, and then this, this next hour, we're pretty much getting similar sort of rain rates and that is really heavy stuff for the middle of the desert. And you also feel the humidity here. This feels like a hurricane out of Florida. So it's it's very it's a very surreal uh, experience to be in, in the Palm Springs area and be experiencing this this sort of weather right now. For the next couple of hours, are going to be dicey here for sure. We will see some more trees down. We'll probably see uh, some power outages. Most of the power lines here are buried. But with this much water, some of those areas may be getting flooded. We might see power outages because of that. So. It's going to be a mess here for the next six to 12 hours, guys. Yeah, yeah. And we see the wind behind you. Any gusts, any really strong gusts that you've uh, felt yet? Uh, it's been gusting 30, 35 miles an hour at least. So we're getting we're getting certainly tropical storm force gusts. And you know, we're right at the base here. So you go up in elevation any sort of bit, and that's going to feel a lot worse than that. But I mean, this is this really is the scene here across every street here in Palm Desert. So there's a lot of debris that's just coming down off these trees. And yeah, we have full trees in some cases that are all the way all, all, all down and ground saturated wind. It's not a good combination for falling trees. And that's I think the recipe we're going to have here through the overnight period. Yeah. Yes. It's as right. surreal for us to talk about as it is for you to be out in it. Rob Marciano, thanks so much. Uh, we are not used to seeing Palm Desert, a place like that, in the middle of August on a Sunday, completely quiet. We might have seen two cars drive by the entire time uh, Rob was reporting, and one of those was an emergency vehicle.